My name is Hans Ogma and I'm a big fan of Olali Skin Products. Um, I'm a television actor and I live in Los Angeles, California, and I'm going to walk you through my daily skin routine. Step one is cleansing, and I use low pH Good Morning Gel Cleanser from Coserex. And I think that the Good Morning Gel Cleanser is a good name for it. It makes you just feel kind of clean and ready. It feels scrubbed up, but it's nothing abrasive or anything. It's gentle while getting the job done. It has tea tree oil in it. It just smells clean. <laughs> Step two, also from Coserex, I use the One Step Pimple Clear Pad, which includes toner and exfoliation. You will recognize this as looking sort of like one of those pads you would use to get rid of zits. And I don't get zits, but I do, however, need to do something that's called toning. These pads also have something that's called exfoliation. Most of us have at least heard of exfoliation before. And um, quite honestly, funnily enough, I've never really succeeded at getting it into my, 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 uh, my skincare regimen until now. It's got two sides to it. This side is rougher, um, and I use that first, just rub it all over. And then I go over it with the smoother side. Not only am I clean, I'm ready to take in what I need to take in because one of the big things about skincare is you wanna make sure whatever you're putting on your face actually penetrates and gets into your skin. And with this one step pimple clear pad, I know that it's getting into my skin and that's a big deal. Otherwise we're wasting our time. Step three is a snail bee high content essence from Benton. Benton, funnily enough, one of their goals is to keep your youth forever, basically. It's inspired by Benjamin Button. Benton, Benjamin Button. Anyway, as much as I'm not trying to like look like I'm 17 or something, I'm not trying to run into old age or anything like that. And so um, this snail bee um, essence deals with any kind of aging stuff. It smells very lightly like anything. Uh, and once you put it on there, it looks kind of like what you would have like on a, the matted surface of a photo. You know photos that are either glossy or matted? This looks a little bit matted, which I think is rather a flattering thing. Step four is the Honey Ceramide Eye Cream from Coserex. I refer to eye cream as the silver bullet. It makes you really look just right and good and ready to go with whatever it is that you want to do. It just smells nice. And look at that. It's like you're putting cream on your face. It's very nice. It's very nice. At the beginning of the day, my final step is the Repair Sunscreen from Tussol. It has SPF 50 plus coverage and PA++, meaning it's broad spectrum. It deals with UVA rays as well as UVB rays. So one of the good things about this one is it's not shiny at all. It's again, it's got kind of a matting quality, which I think is good. Not only does this protect me from the rays of the sun, it evens me out. It's a good final layer when I'm done with my skincare. At the end of the day, I use the Tussolung Vitalizing All-in-One Men's Booster. And the Men's Booster has whitening, anti-wrinkle, and sebum control qualities. And whitening, what I understand that to mean is it's evening. It makes me look even. The anti-wrinkle means we're maintaining. We're just trying to, to stay looking good. And then sebum control means it deals with shininess. I don't want to look shiny and this one doesn't look shiny. Funnily enough, one of the things about skincare, I don't want to look like I got all the stuff on my face or anything, but I do like just feeling like, wow, I know I look good right now. And, and the skincare stuff makes me feel that way.